All right, guys, welcome back to Trick It Easily. My name is Richard. And I'm Alex. And as y'all can see, we're sitting down today. But. Yeah, yeah, I had a slight back injury, slipped a disc, so it's a lot painful for me. Yeah. So standing up wasn't a possibility for this video. Yep, so we're sitting down, ain't nothing wrong with it. We're still gonna bring out a banger to y'all. Uh, before we get into the video, we do wanna let y'all know, for some reason our channel is like, not playing advertisements right now. Yep. So like, we're not getting paid for any of these videos, so if y'all wanna support us, Cash App is like right here, you know. Donate to us. It goes towards the ammo for filming these videos. It goes towards the, the weapons. Yeah, hit the super thanks too. There's no there's no super thanks. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they decided to. Unlock yeah, yeah, yeah. Channel. YouTube, you gotta y'all gotta fix that. Y'all gotta fix that. You and Google AdSense, y'all need to fix y'all beef or whatever going on because we ain't getting paid for it. So we just up here free content. But it's all good, y'all. We're here for y'all. As y'all have seen the title, we got the Canic TTI. If you don't know about the Canic TTI already, it's kind of crazy because it's like all over the internet right now, right? Yeah, we did not think we were going to be able to get our hands on one. Yeah, it's super hard to get. A lot of people have it pre-ordered. A lot of people are still on the wait list. So I just want to shout out my boy Chris over there at Milton at Gulf Coast Guns. Definitely check them out, y'all. Online or if you're local, go to the store. They're amazing. Over half of our firearms are actually from, from there. Yeah, maybe even over half. Uh, we buy a lot of guns there. Chris is awesome every single time we walk in. A couple other guys there, you know, Dustin, he's the manager over there. So go yeah. see one of them. Yes, sir. Uh, also, they have a YouTube channel there itself. It's called Tactically Inappropriate, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be linked in the description below. Definitely go check them out. It'll go tell you some of the deals they run all the time. Yeah. Definitely go support them. Let them know you came from Triggered Easily so they know where you're coming from. But let's get straight into this. I'm, I'm hype. Y'all know I'm the Kenneth guy on this channel. And for you new people, I'm the Kenneth guy on this channel. And as you can see, we got the beautiful Kinnick TTI case. You can even see it says TTI Combat. So Titty, Titty, can we call it Titty Combat? Oh, I'm gonna call it Titty. I don't know if that's appropriate. We, we, we go <laughs> Nothing, with it. it's true, easy. Nothing's appropriate on our channel. So, I'm gonna box. You got a little plaque right here. Tells you a little bit about stuff. Mm -hmm. Nobody reads that. We're gonna skip past that. <laughs> you got your regular uh, Kinnick information and some TTI information as well. Yes, sir. There we go. And on to the good stuff. Look at that. Look at that beauty. So we got the Kinnick TTI. And let's, let, let, let's not get into this yet, actually. Let's just go ahead straight into everything that's in the box first. So it's gonna come with, I have a mag right here. So it comes with two mags. Of course, it comes with the baby Kinnick. The baby Kinnick doesn't come with all the Kinnicks, but it comes with most of the Kinnicks, of course. It's gonna have your tools right at the bottom. It's gonna have some back straps, uh, some plates for uh, mountain optics. Uh, this is actually an extended mag right here. I believe it's an 18 plus three, so 21 capacity mag. Not including the one in the chamber, of course. Then, if we take this bad boy out. You got a hidden compartment down here with all the good stuff. Look how deep this thing is. I actually really like this casing that it comes with, but I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the collector coin. Look at that bad boy right there. Beautiful. So it's Canic on one side, Terran Tactical on the other side. You already so. know for the amazing collaboration. Thank y'all for that. And then we got a great holster. It's actually uh, one of those belt loop holsters. It's not like the regular Canic holsters that come in there. <clears throat> so loop your belt loop through there. And also yep. another cool thing about it is actually it tightens up too. So right here, you can screw it uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Of course, the more right you go, the tougher it is to pull. The more left you go, easier it is to pull, of course. And that's gonna be great for those competitions, of course. Tighter if you were like holding it for duty, you know, duty carries. But then we got, of course, the, what's this, like a quick loader Very that similar. nobody ever uses? Like, if you use a quick loader, let me know in the comments below because I think you're weird already. Uh, then we have some more of the little toolies, of course, that comes with about basically every cannon. Uh, then we have the little cleaner. Uh, we have the lock. No one ever locks their triggers, but they still give them to us in every weapon we purchase. And then we have a recoil spring, an extra recoil spring. So that's super cool. Uh, and as far as the unboxing, that's 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 it for that part. Yeah, pretty simple, but you do get a lot of stuff. I mean, you covered a ton of stuff really, really quickly. And that's what's good and about I, uh, Canic. I don't know which way it is, bro. I love this outside the waistband, uh, little Terran Tactical uh, 
The holster. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna put that, put that in there. So let's go ahead and talk about this beauty, right? <clears throat> now we are professional amateur reviewers, meaning we don't know everything about the gun, but that's what you guys are supposed to look up, okay? I have all like the stats like listed right here along the sides. I'm not about to tell y'all what, what length this barrel is and stuff like that. I'm just let y'all know this bad boy is really pretty. It's a nice bronze look. If you look at it online, it kind of looks a little goldy, but of course the color even says it's bronze. So I want y'all to know it's like a really pretty bronze color. Uh, so I don't flag anybody. Night sights right there. Of course, it has the typical traditional uh, black back like it always has in all the other canics. So your main focus is your front sight yep. right there. There we go. You wanna... You do have serrations in the slide. Put it down. So up at the top with the compensator, it's right here. Uh, serrations on all three sides. Uh, you got a Picatinny rail. You got an extended mag release. Yes. So it's really, really nice. It sticks out just a little bit from the gun if you can see it right there on camera. So you just pop it down, pop it back in. You have a nice mag well right here. Everything says Canic and Terran Tactical. I mean, every part of the gun yep. has either a T or a Canic. This side, you have a T. Um, this side, you know, says Canic TTI Combat. It's a really nice gun. And of course, all Canics pretty much have a uh, way you can mount an optic and it's pretty low, so. Yeah, and then also, of course, that's what the optic plates are for mm -hmm. in there as well. Um, another thing it also has is, um, this is the loader indicator. Yep. So, it lets you know if one's loaded or not. Uh, does it have one up top as well? Yeah, it has one up top as well. I keep feeling like I'm flashing you, man. Uh, <laughs> it's unloaded, YouTube. We, we check before and during. Right. So, so of course, uh, once one is loaded, it'll pop up at the top. So that's also nice. I really love that it's, uh, the slide is already cut. Such a beautiful, beautiful gun right here. But the best part, of course, of a Canic is their stock triggers, but this flat face, beautiful trigger. Let's, let's go ahead and hear the reset on it. So I gotta pull. Just like that. Oh crap, I'm botting out right now. I mean, so that trigger is great. But what you can't see on camera is how wide that trigger is. Yeah. It's extremely wide. Like it's it's at least the size of someone's pinky, maybe, maybe wider, depending on what size hands you have. Mm -hmm. But uh it's it's pretty insane. Um, very, very good feeling, very audible reset, yeah. everything that I like. Um it has an aggressive grip uh structure uh, texture as well. So I like that <clears throat> as well. That's the nice thing about it. Now, one thing. I want to mention that you can't do is even Talk though this guy is compensated right here you cannot take that off and add a suppressor yeah you can yeah. take it off but you just can't add a suppressor yep it's not drilled uh or what's it called threaded threaded it's mm -hmm. not threaded for a suppressor but you know if it's a competition gun you're probably going to want your compensator versus suppressor anyway suppressors are fun they have their own thing but uh but yeah i mean i, I think that's beautiful the way it comes and I love that how it's pulled back. You can just see that combo. It just there. looks amazing when you pull it back and see the it, combo up top. You can see this. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's fluted. Yeah, it's hard to make it show up. Especially. It's going dark. to have some swirly swirly. <laughs> yeah, swirly. Yeah. <laughs> swirly swirly. But yeah, so that's super nice. Man, this gun is beautiful. I'm so hyped to get it out. Definitely let us know. Uh, of course, the reason why we're doing this video is show y'all the unboxing, but also let us know what y'all want us to do with it. Because within a week, we're going to have our range video posted out with the first shots. Probably going to get about at least two to 500 rounds through it to see what we can do, how good it is, some little competitive drills and stuff like that. But let us know what y'all want us to compare it to because go ahead and give y'all a little sneak peek. As y'all can see behind us, we got the MMP, uh, what is that? The MMP 2.0 Smith & Wesson? The spec? Yeah. Yeah, the competition Smith & Wesson. Cause everyone knows I'm the Kenneth guy on the channel. Alex is the Smith & Wesson guy on the channel. So it's only right that we compare those two, but definitely let us know what else y'all would like us to compare it to. We're not rich, so we don't got the Kinnick uh, Rival S as well. So don't yeah. say that one. We got the SFX, we got the SF, we got the Mete MC9 though. So we're definitely gonna get a Rival, I mean, a Kinnick family 
uh, video out as Definitely, well. Definitely, yeah. We with these thousand dollar guns, guys. It's you know our budget's typically like three, four hundred. <laughs> right, right, right. So uh, it's not like we can go out and buy ten of these thousand dollar guns or the twenty elevens, the Scottos, mm -hmm. and all that stuff to compare this to. Yeah. But uh, I do think this is going to be probably one of the best, if not the best, shooting gun we've ever had on the channel. I'm really excited to get to the range yeah. and see how that performs. Because a lot of times, man, I've been excited about stuff in the in the past and it's completely disappointed me. Yeah, and with my luck, I would definitely be uh, the one that gets a lemon of the <laughs> TTI. It could be, mm. I I'll be the only guy to have a, a lemon. No more uh, SD9s. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, one thing I do want to say that we didn't speak on, uh, the pricing on this, it comes right under $1,000 uh, MSRP uh, right typically. now. Typically. <laughs> right now, you're probably not going to see it that low. Uh, most dealers, since they know it's going to be hard to get, uh, of course, because the pre-orders are flooded and stuff, you're probably going to see it around $1,100 for it. Yeah, we, we paid a little bit over MSRP for this one, but we wanted to bring it to you. We wanted to be the, one of the first small channels that have it out. Yeah, we do want to let y'all know of course Kinnick didn't send us this so it's not going to be a bias like it's not going to be a fake review or any of that if it's trash it's trash and we're gonna let y'all know because uh i haven't spent my hard work and money on this thing so let me let y'all know that uh also another thing y'all they actually have a version so there's the uh iron sight version which is what this one is and then they have one i, I think it's called like an mo2 or it's a mechanic uh optic as well it's really cool comes at roughly about 250 dollars so eventually down the line, we're actually gonna get one of those for this. Uh, Y'all know us, since we're a budget channel, we typically don't do optics uh, yeah. much. Because of, of course, I mean, they're just expensive. But they're the price of a gun sometimes. A gun like this needs an optic, I think, and it needs yep. a light on the front. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like you should really bougie this thing yeah. out because it already looks beautiful. Right. So, so let us know y'all suggestions in the comments below what optic we should get for it first and foremost, and what, uh, light we should get for it and of course preferably something that matches and it looks good most likely it's going to be something what like a black tlr o light or something like that yeah yeah they, they have optic. a like a goldish o light maybe it maybe it, i don't think it's the color, i don't, I don't, I don't think, think it's the exact match. color yeah so i think a, a black will probably be the best but y'all let us know we we don't do optics and like lights and stuff like that so this is this is up to y'all in the comments we'll do whatever we can and we'll try to get it like i said our cash app is going to be posted so if you want to donate and help us towards it everything that we get goes right back to the channel and that's how we're able to actually shoot all this ammo and shoot all these guns on our channel yep we appreciate you guys so much uh thank you for making it all the way through the video uh shout out to anyone who's ever supported it when we were monetized and now that we're not you know we're gonna get back there oh yeah we just gotta wait like 30 days y'all and so until they get google adsense right but don't worry y'all we're still gonna be posting our banger content you guys are still gonna love it we're not gonna stop or uh mess up any of our videos because we're not we've been through this grind thank y'all for rocking with us definitely go follow us on our social medias they're gonna be listed below if you want to sponsor or monetize any of our videos uh shout out your products or anything definitely check out our email uh send us a, a text and we'll hit you back or hit us up on our Instagram. Of course, all that is linked in the description below. We'll see you on the next video. Trigger Pretty easily. easily. Mag up that subscribe button. button.